Next, I would like to show you how to change the logo of your .NET Nuke portal, and then I'll give you an introduction to working with pages in .NET Nuke. So let's go to the admin menu and select site settings. Let's scroll down and let's expand appearance. Here you can see the option for logo. We're going to upload a new file, so we'll click on this link here. We'll click on browse. Navigate to the location of your logo that you would like to upload. We'll select the logo and click on open. Click on upload selected file. And there we have uploaded the logo. Let's scroll down and click on update. And you can see the logo is now displayed in there. Let's go back to the home page. And now let's look at adding several pages to our .NET Nuke portal. To add a page, you need to go to the admin control panel at the top of the page. And if we go to the page functions section, we'll click on the add icon here. So here we can create our new page. Enter a name for the page. This is the name that will appear in the menu. Enter a title description and keywords for the page. These are the details that the search engines will read and display in their search results. Parent page will leave this as non-specified, which means that it will add this page into the root of the menu. So this means it will display it in the same area as the home, admin and host menu items that you can see there. We then have the option to insert the page before or after or add to end. We're going to insert this page after the home page. Following this we have options for templates and this can add some default content to your pages. You'll see currently we have a page template of default or non-specified. If you select default, this will automatically add a text HTML module to the page. So we'll keep the default option. We'll tick include in menu. View page. We'll select all users to view the page. So this will allow all of the general public to view this page. And then all we need to do is click on the update link here. If you need further information on all of the settings that are available for creating a page, we have also covered this in separate tutorials on DNN Creative. So we'll click on update and you can see we have successfully created the page and the my first page is now included in the menu item after the home page. And you can see in the content, it has automatically added the text HTML module for us into the content pane. Let's add another page and this time we will add it as a sub page of my first page. So go to the page functions and we'll click on add. We'll add a page name. Enter a page title. Description and keywords. This time for parent page, we want this to be a sub page of my first page. So for parent page, we'll select my first page. This time under page template, we will select non-specified. So this will not add any default content to the page and we'll include it in the menu. We'll tick all users have view page permissions and we'll click on update. So now you can see in the breadcrumbs, we are viewing the second page, which is a sub menu of my first page. And if we go to the menu, you can see second page is a sub menu of my first page. Let's add a sub menu item to the second page. So let's go to the page functions again and click on add. We'll add a third page. Again, enter a title description and keywords for the page. I'll just enter some generic text in there. Under parent page, this time we'll select second page. 
We'll add some default content this time, we'll include it in the menu, but this time we will not allow all users to view the page. We'll just allow administrators to view the page. And this is what you would normally do when you are creating a page on a live website. You do not want everyone to view the content as you are creating it. So as this example, we'll just allow administrators to view the page. We'll scroll down and we'll click on update. So if you look in the breadcrumbs, you can see the third page is now a sub menu item of the second page. And if we go to the menu and hover over first page and second page, you can see the third page is a sub menu item there. To demonstrate how this will appear to a regular user visiting your website, if we log out, let's go to my first page. So you can see we have not added any content in yet. And you can see we can view second page, but we cannot view the third page because we set this so that only administrators could view the third page. So that's how you can easily create and manage content on a live website without the general public viewing the content. If we then log in, let's log in as the administrator. And if we go to the third page, all we need to do to enable everybody to view the page is then go to the settings of the page and we can scroll down and then tick all users to view the page. Scroll down and click on update. And this now enables everybody to view the page. So you can do that once you have edited the page and you are happy with the page going live on your website. In the final part of the tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can move modules around on a page. So let's go to the home page. We are currently viewing this page in layout mode. So let's go to the edit mode. And you can see the various content in here. There are several options for moving modules around on a page. So for instance, if you go to a modules settings menu and then scroll down, here you can see a move option. And here you can see we have the option to move this module to the top pane, content pane, right pane and bottom pane. Let's move this module to the top pane. And you can see that module is now displayed in the top pane and it's placed above the My First Content and Image modules. If we view the layout mode, you can see the My Links module is placed in the top pane there. As another example, let's move the My Links module to the content pane. So you can also do this in the layout mode. So if we go to Move and we'll select Content Pane, you can see that has placed the module at the bottom of the content pane. It's also possible to drag and drop the modules from one content pane to another, but you need to be in this view. You need to be in the layout mode in order to drag and drop modules. So to do this, we're going to drag the MyLinks module to the right pane. So just click on the title here, with the left mouse button and hold in the mouse. You'll see that module is now highlighted in purple and if I drag it across, you can see as I move it to a different content pane, each content pane is then highlighted in purple. So this is where I am going to drop the module. So if I move across to the right pane, and then let go of the left mouse button. You can see we have dragged across the links module into the bottom of the right pane. It's also possible to rearrange the order of the modules on the page. And to do this, go to the settings of the module again and select the move option. 
And here you can see we have the option to move to the top or move up. Let's select move up. And that's moved the second content HTML module above the my first content module. So you can do the same over here with the image module. We can select move and we can move this down. So now let's log out of our .NET Nuke portal and view those changes. And there you can see how the general public will view this page. So we have the second content module at the top, my first content below, and in the right pane we now have the my links module at the top and the HTML module underneath just displaying an image without a container. So that's the end of this quick start guide tutorial. I hope you've found it useful for getting started with .NET Nuke. To learn more about .NET Nuke and to get the most from your .NET Nuke portal, have a look at the other video tutorials available on DNN Creative. We literally have hundreds of videos available which explain each of the settings and various configurations available in detail. If you need any help using .NET Nuke, then please feel free to ask any question in the DNN Creative Forum. And if you have any requests for tutorials, reviews, podcasts, articles, or anything that comes to mind, please feel free to drop a line in the DNN Creative Forum and we will try our best to help. Okay, so we've reached the end of this tutorial and I hope you enjoy working with .NET Nuke.